history. So much of it for Miami is rooted in the images of past performance against one franchise. And so it seemed entirely appetizing and appealing to all involved that this first round playoff pairing might draw upon history to ignite the passions that once burned with unmatched intensity between two cities, two fan bases, and two bitter rivals. History can, however, become just that, a byproduct of a bygone era. In a game one dismantling of the Knicks, Miami made clear its intent to replace past with present. While its defensive effort would indeed have made their predecessors proud, it was with an attacking and efficient offense where the Heat separated themselves from New York and ultimately from their own historic hurdles. With little time to savor success, Miami now looks beyond the immediate past that already is game one. History awaits its next entry. They hit us in the mouth, so we got to see what we're made of now. In game one. Miami struck first, struck fast, and struck often in delivering one of the most lopsided victories in the playoff history of either franchise. Our guys had a noticeable look in their eyes uh, the last 24 hours. It's just a focus of coming in and saying, all right, this game one at home, let's take care of business, and now we move on again to They're going to make adjustments in game two. We're not, not going to have uh, an easy of a time in, in game two playing the same defense. That's what, play, that's what playoffs are about, but at least we gave them a, a different look. And then uh, we'll try to come up with a, a counter to their counter. That's, that's the chess match that is the other playoffs. If the playoffs teach us anything, it is that momentum is an ever-shifting ally. One who can shift allegiance in a New York minute. We also understand that's an extremely dangerous team, and uh, that's the thing about long series, uh, that whatever happens, uh, you have to be emotionally capable and strong enough now to put it to the side. We try not to let the frustration set in. Uh, you know, we, we understand that it's a, it's a marathon race. This is a long series. I've been in this position before where, you know, game one is very, very critical, but, uh, but the series is not over. You know, they, they did a great job of when a game one on their home court and we still have a chance to come out game two and, you know, and get that one. And the only way we're going to get out of this series is win a game here. So, you know, all's not bad yet. You know, we just got to come back and regroup and get ready for game two. It is time. Look out! Oh my! Hammer time here at the Heat House. Time for the world's best to become the best in the world. Wade puts up a tough shot. Got it! In his house! LeBron scores again! He is unstoppable! Time to talk. Alley-oop and a slam to UD. Wade, the alley-oop. LeBron with a two-hand jam on the alley-oop! Time to roar. Oh my! It is time for 20,000 to make 10 letters form three words with one powerful sound. So leave your seat and cry as one. Let's go. Heat. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. The Heat blew the doors off in game one, showing the orange and blue of the New York Knicks, what white hot is all about. It may be gray on the Western Shore of Biscayne Bay, but game two is here. Thanks for joining our wall-to-wall -wall coverage on Sun Sports. Number one, as in game one. Speaking of LeBron James, there he is. He's getting ready to go. He was magnificent on Saturday. I need him to help out with our programming coverage. LeBron, where should people look for us? Sun Sports is the place to be for White Hot TV. What motivates me? James, the drive, the adjustment, the back shot. One dribble, pull up, puts it in. Playoff basketball. Chandler deflected by James. There's another steal from LeBron James. Davis to Chandler. Offensive foul as he barrels into LeBron James. Puts up a three. James to finish. James fouled again. And he backs it in. Playoff basketball on Sun Sports. Worth watching. What a performance for James. You want to talk about white hot. 
How about 10 of 14 from the floor? How about 11 of 14 from the line? How about suffocating defense on Mello when he had it? That's LeBron James, and he's ready to go for more, telling me this morning. Rather than jump shots, and uh, those drives, his scores, and his decision-making, big factors in Miami's game one win. And guys, now it's all about game two, game one, behind both the Heat and the Knicks. And game two is one of those decisive games in a seven-game series. Hope the Heat have a killer instinct tonight to put two games up before they head to New York for games three and four. Now back to the Biscayne Bay studio and Mr. White Hot himself, Jason Jackson. Eric Tony, there he is. The adjustments, the counter, the adjustment to the counter, the counter to the adjustment. It's all coming up on Sun Sports. For Eric Reed, Tony Fiorentino, and yours truly, Jason Jackson, time for the Knicks and their focus. To figure it out. They might want to figure out as a collective what to do with LeBron James. If he's going to be as efficient as he was in game one, it will be a tough out in game two. It's time to ball, y'all. Stay right there. NBA playoffs heat style coming up next on Sun Sports. A rainy Monday night in Miami. Game two of this best of seven first round series between the New York Knicks and the Miami Heat. Here are your Cleveland Clinic starting lineups. You just saw the Knicks. And Miami will go with LeBron James, Udonis Haslam, Chris Bosh, Twain Wade, and Mario Chuck. Career 30-point game in the playoffs. Now, Dwayne Wade had 25, Chris Bosh had 21, and LeBron, well, the most complete game of all, 19 points, 9 assists, 7 rebounds, and up two games to none. LeBron James very comfortable in the Sun Sports winner's circle. Thank you very much. The team didn't need the 32 from you today. Much more balance and spread out. Coach Polstra said something after game one that the assist total wasn't indicative of the way you all moved the ball. It was today. Was that a concerted effort, LeBron? Um, absolutely. Every game we try to find our shooters, uh, mid rhythm, uh, get them comfortable in the offense. And uh, you know, once they catch it, we tell them let it fly. So concerted effort tonight, just like you said, Jax, to get them the ball and move the ball from one side to another. Defense still the name of the game. They snuck over 90 points on you there at the end as they got some shots in. How happy are you all with your team identity, the defense leading the way? Oh, I mean, that's what it's about. You know, we started out the first two games playing our identity, getting to the lane, getting free throws, uh, making extra pass offensively and then defensively, uh, being in tune and trying to hold them under their averages. So, uh, you know, it's a good start. And, uh, you know, we did what we had to do, and that's protect home. And what did you have to do tonight to counter their counter? Like I said, not a 30-point game, but definitely balance across the board as we look at your stat stuffing line tonight. Oh, well, that's what it's about. I know every night that I'm not going to be able to score at a high, at a high clip. Uh, I would love to, uh, but when you come into a game, you make adjustments throughout the game. And I see that they was uh, pressuring me a lot more, being more aggressive with my pick and rolls, trying to get the ball out of my hand. And that's what I have great teammates for to step up, and uh, you know they find the shots. And now going 2-0 up to New York, this is what you talk about doing exactly what you're supposed to do when you have the higher seed at home. Uh, yeah, we took care of home, and now we're looking forward to going up to New York and uh, you know playing the same way we did here. Um, we know it's going to be a hostile crowd with CB jumping into the frame. Uh, He's really the best. Uh, of course, he is the best man. And, uh, you know we're looking forward to the challenge, though. LeBron, thank you for the time. Congratulations on the win. Uh, thanks, Jack. Very good, LeBron James. Leading the way for the Heat's three All-Stars. Dwayne Wade, he had the lead in the points as Dwayne Wade receives it. And then Chris Bosh there to finish it. You add it up 6-3-1, it's weird because it adds up to two, the 2-0 two lead for your Miami Heat as they move up to New York. They win 104-94. We're back with more on Sun Sports. Process. Slap yourself in the If you put yourself in the, in the right position and you play hard and you do your homework, good things are going to happen. And, uh, that's something I've, I've done my entire career, and so there's uh, no reason to think that will happen again uh, this year. So, but you are in the right spots. You are in comfort zones. So I am. To launch I am. Edges. I am. You know, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna go look at the film and, and look at how it could have gone. Five points. Dwayne Wade started it off with a 19-point first half. He finished with 25. Bosh had 21. LeBron had 19. Now all three guys just did a terrific job, not only scoring, but they also had a lot of assists. 13 and fourth. 17 assists for the three All Stars. Really nice job by them moving the ball. The key to a Heat offense all year long was to move the ball, get the ball, the guys on the move, uh, rotate the ball from one side to the other. Great recognition of guys seeing where the advantage is. Just an outstanding job of these three young men leading the way. And uh, when you have a game like Mario Chalmers had with these three guys, the Heat are almost unbeatable.
Well, Mario Chalmers writing a nice postseason script for himself. Chalmers played well in the finals last year. We've always seen him play his biggest games on his best games on, in the biggest games. Tony tonight he had 13 points, nine of them in the fourth quarter. He also had six assists. And uh, now he's got 15 assists in the first two games. He plays with a lot of confidence. He's playing within himself. And what we've seen him emerge as this year, Eric, is a guy that has become more of a point guard. He really was like a combo guard coming into the Heat organization. But now he's recognizing mismatches. He's doing a great job of not turning the ball over, hitting teammates, and scoring when they need it. It's a machine, people, that has the highlights. Oh, they're jumping around. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. And Crotty Carmelo was ready. Oh, he came out smoking hot. Really got that mid-range game going here, picking his spots early and getting the Knicks ahead. And then Dwayne Wade came right back with some plays of his own. Whirling nervous. And how about Chalmers looking, looking, finding Dwayne Wade, getting it there. And then, look, if you were looking, people, you found Dwayne Wade. Even Bosch, look at that bounce pass right there on the baseline. Coming to get it. Carmelo not going away at all as well. Oh, wait, first Wade tells Fields, don't, don't put Carmelo in the highlights so early. Because that was Fields' fault. I'm going to tell you that right now, not mine. <laughs> and then here he comes. Carmelo trying to keep it close. And then, oh, my goodness. Power. Can't stop him. You can just stop it. And then Carmelo, I would like to introduce you to Joel Anthony. Or maybe that was the Vice other way versa. around. Exactly. Mike Miller, square root of nine. What is it? Three. Yes, it is. Let's go to the second quarter. Oh, man. You know, I thought this guy had the flu. What, what, what happened to Tyson? He got real healthy, didn't he? A little third flu? A little, 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 little barking there by Tyson, picking up the tee. He got himself involved with some easy dunks and layups there in that second quarter. How about Bosh? He was looking, he was distributing, nice work, and then Chalmers, boot nasty right there. I mean, the tip in's always nice. Isn't oh, the awareness around the basket to be able to tip that one in, and he didn't have the easy dunk. Action from LeBron to Wade with a spin of hook. And then let me ask you one question. If your father's not around, who's your daddy? <laughs> Buddy A, that's who it is. He had three threes on the night. Oh my goodness, off the inbound. Come on, Shane, I just I just went loud for you. And then the payback's only way back on the inbounds of their own, making it happen. And then Mike Woodson. You got something for me? Oh, that was our, oh, it's LeBron time. Woodson, he drew up a play earlier, and now LeBron's in there. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, that play LeBron and one basketball. Right there. The hesitation move by LeBron. Third quarter. D-Way. Oh, my goodness. If you drew this whole thing up, you knew Wade was going to come out with something. 25 and all in the game. And then there he is. Chalmers, first for three. And then Bosch is going to remind us that the hook always brings you back. And then, Crotty, you know, you got to talk to me about when that defense turns into offense because it's pretty every single time. I'll tell you, you did so many good things. Didn't score a lot, but was able to rebound the basketball, start that fast break with the blocking. Get out on the break. LeBron, again, the defensive effort by him. Three on two break. The power, the finish, both ends of the floor. LeBron James. Mike Miller time now, everybody. Three tremendous. He had three of five threes on the night. I need more Battier, and I need it now because if you're back to life, then you're back to reality. Come on, baby. Get it back to that man right there. <laughs> However, do you want it? However, do you need it? Yeah, they just oh, stuck in a little highlight nice. right there on me. That killed me. Really, I mean, I, I was selling it right there. Here's the Cleveland Clinic team play of the game right here. So, you know, if, if it's not going to be what the sheet says, we might as well sell it to somebody. Wow. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Go ahead and change hands in the air, game. right? To the fourth quarter. I'm no longer looking at the sheet. I'm watching television. <laughs> That's real. Come on, dancing across the Rio Grand. Oh, my goodness. Chalmers cannot be denied in big spots. He started at Kansas. Probably started in high school in Alaska. Your thoughts? I thought he was tremendous. Again, nine points in that fourth quarter. He was the reason why they were able to pull ahead. And then Bosch with the timely three-pointer behind the arc the big guy showing some distance there there's Battier yet again those two guys Miller and Battier off the bench huge shot in the arm for the heat spreading out that defense nice inside move real quick on the threes though nine threes for your line of the heat. that is massive and, and then finding those guys beyond the arc too both Wade and LeBron no look passing finding Miller and Battier in rhythm there
Not going to submit this for the uh, one of the top uh, highlight experiences of the 21 years and 11 months. Not going to happen. Final score, 104 to 94. The Heat victorious up 2-0 in the series. Want to watch tonight's game all over again? It's on at midnight tomorrow at noon. All right here on Sun Sports. We said it once. I'm going to say it again. Game three Thursday, right here on Sun Sports, 7 o'clock. Heat Live delivered by Papa John's starts at 6:30. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For E. Reed, the coach K. Hugh and Crotts, I am Jax. Thanks for watching. Good night. We leave you with the final take.